Hi, everybody. This is Kathy L. Murphy, the Pulpit Queen, and I'm here tonight during this holiday season at the house of my dearest and friend who's an author, the owner of Decorate Ornate, and this is the entryway into her beautiful, fabulous home. Hi, Stephanie Chance. Hello, Kathy. Welcome. Well, Welcome tonight. And here's little Mia. Mia. There's and two. Two. Verona. 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 I'm backing up so you can see how gorgeous. Here are her beautiful dogs. Happy holidays to my little friends. Hello, babies. Hello. Oh. Hello. Here we are in the home of Stephanie Chance here in Gladewater, Texas. She owns Decorate Ornate, which is a beautiful, beautiful shop full of European treasures from all of her Decorate Ornate tours to Italy and Europe and beyond. So I'm going to let Stephanie do all the talking now because she's going to take us through her home of all the collections of everything she's brought back from her trips. Go ahead, Stephanie. Well, we can't go do all of it tonight because we would be here for quite a while, but I will just kind of give you a brief um, entrance here. This is um, a piece that I shipped back from, it's called a compote or jewel. I shipped it back from Italy uh, probably 35 years ago. And on top of this, well, these columns here, or uh, I fell in love with them when I found them. They're inlaid. It's all inlaid. I'm going to move in close so everybody can really see just the all the fabulous work on these. And these are, what it's, are these? They're made out of... Uh, wood, carved wood with ivory. Carved wood with ivory. But look at how she has everything decorated for Christmas. This is a reliquary. This is called a, an antique up. reliquary. And it's something, when you go to Europe, inside the reliquaries is something sacred, something that's very special. And inside here is um, an icon from Italy, and it's of St. Nicholas, Santa Claus. I'm a huge um, lover of Santa Claus. Yes. And the cross uh, is all from here. Italy. It's an Aren't antique. they beautiful, you all? The little... Uh, Christmas tree is from Austria. Isn't that gorgeous? Where they make the beautiful uh, Swarovski. That's all Swarovski. And look at this gentleman sitting in the throne chair. This is my little um, nutcracker. And he's all handmade, his mouth open, sitting in the king's chair. And this is another uh, icon, all hand painted from Italy. And up above him is St. Francis. And when we went to Italy, we got to go to where they paint these icons for the Vatican, and it was just fabulous. Was that in Italy or Greece? Greece. It was in Greece. But anyway, yeah. I'm going to let her continue. Yeah, I'm going to back that, up. That is um, David up there, Michelangelo's David. It's gorgeous. And the original was in the Academy of Florenza, Italy. That's right. And then these are chairs that I found many years ago in um uh, Actually, in southern Italy, Tony has a friend that buys out old castles, and these come out of oh, my gosh. an old castle, and I fell in love with them and just had to have them. And well, I never feel like it's Christmas till I come to Stephanie's house. Look up above. That is an, uh, an old balcony arch thing that we found in Italy, but two from Italy, and I had a builder to build that little balcony ledge and they brought in a forklift inside the front door and lifted it up oh my gosh how heavy is it it's very heavy it took a forklift and oh my. three men to hold on to it to hoist it up and wow then i love her too of bronze i love bronze this has been in uh been with us forever long, it's long time. gorgeous and i posted on facebook uh this week i was so busy but i posted of me trying to get the table ready and here it is all finished i actually shared that video of her decorating the table with all the net poofs and the fabric and i'm going to move in a little closer can you see just how fabulous that she does her table for the holidays it's really quite spectacular this is her dining room in off of her kitchen in her house and and i'm really excited because there's one of my paintings up on the wall up above this is 
I was showing everybody. Yes. This is what the tool I buy in the bulk, the tooling or the netting, and this has all the beautiful glitter inside of it. It's gorgeous. So, now, where do you get this? Well, I order, I get uh, Dallas, Los Angeles, and the, the netting I do. It's beautiful. And what I do is I measure off what I need on the floor here and then cut it. And then this is, you know, look at this. The Isn't it beautiful? That I've used, and then the Harlequin. It's gorgeous, Stephanie. And these are compost. This is Cafe de Monte. Oh. All handmade. Um, it's hard to appreciate Cafe de Monte. I know I had a lady in the store, and she said, uh, What is that stuff that you see in old people's houses in Europe? <laughs> I said, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. She said, You know, the. The little people painted cherubs, and, and I said, "Are you talking about Cafe de Monte, Italy?" And she said, "I don't know that. Maybe that's it." And I said, "I love it. If you see them hand mold it with their hands and hand paint it, then you can really appreciate it." I have no idea how many flowers and roses and different <laughs> things, but there's another one of my paintings tucked into this yeah, buffet. Yes. Isn't that great? Yeah, Kathy's beautiful. Uh, painting back there. I love the reds, reds. And I didn't show this throne Maybe chair. Moo baby. All my favorite, favorite colors. She had a bridal shower here and she had this all decorated for the bride. Isn't it a beautiful chair? Yeah, we had the bride here and then we put the little banner across for the bride. Oh my goodness. And it's incredible. Another one of my bronze, bronze, bronze pieces. And they get dressed every year for, I mean, every occasion. After we get through with Christmas, look we'll at the go, stocking. We will go into Valentine's, and then they will be dressed for Valentine's, and then Easter. And just I the carve, Easter. the work on these, the furnishings that you have in your house are just incredible. I mean, it's just beautiful. Even the mirror has all these cherub heads. This is just beautiful. But you look here, and you go down, and you see all of her Santas. And there's another one of my paintings in her house. And look at this cabinet. Look at those giant chocolate liquor bottles. What is that? Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. And then this is... Um, this is her chandelier. I'm going up close because you just can't imagine all the work that she puts into the decorating here at her house. It's you'll have to come look at the little gold slippers. The, the little gold slippers were done in honor of Reagan Eford. Uh, I did her bridal shower last weekend, oh. and, and I wanted her. I wanted it to be magical and fairy tale for her, and so I even put the little gold carriage. Oh, I can see it. It's parked over there. Look at the gold carriage so that's I in this. Her, I said, you need to see if you can find the gold carriage. And all the icons going around, all these beautiful framed artworks. Here's some other ones that are just... I'm telling you, you have to see this to believe it. Every inch of this house is covered with just every kind of fairy tale magic. Look at the mirror. Here I am in the mirror, but the chandelier is quite fabulous. Oh, and look at this. This is beautiful. There's another one of my art pieces. I can't believe it. I know. It's oh, been, this is kind of everywhere in the house. Well, if you may have noticed that Stephanie loves red, okay? Yes. So she loves red. But this is her kitchen, and I'm going to give you a little peek. You by... right here. You can see I'm going to. I'm going to give you a little peek. I brought her some sugar-free cinnamon rolls that my daughter made tonight. They're sugar-free, and we're going to have those later. So um, anyway... Yes, it smells so good in here. And all of her beautiful things in her kitchen. Mm. Look at this cake. Oh, it's, last time I was here, she was getting everything ready for this bridal shower, and I did a teaser of everything in her home. And look at these bottles of wine that she's decoupaged. They're beautiful. Everything, even the cake, the lemon cream filled cake. These are from Italy, the uh, panettone. I don't know if people know about the panettone. Oh, I do. But in Italy, the custom is everybody gets a panettone cake. And when you go visit your loved ones or to anyone's home, you always, always carry your panettone cake. You would never show up in Italy without a panettone. So everybody has an abundance of panettone cakes 
during the Christmas season all the way up to mid-January. My goodness. And, then and then, here, East Texas, I bring cinnamon rolls. Oh, and, that, and Alan <laughs> will eat every one of them. And Kathy, do you realize what that yes, is? Yes, this is, this is uh, some more of my um, fashions from Vita Shop Con. Uh, she's got her things all over my house, but believe me, folks, I have everything of hers all over my house from her store, too. But this is a little peek through that goes into a formal dining room. Oh, tell us about this. Okay, this is bocce. Uh, bocce is a candy made in Italy in Perugia. And the story is, is that the, the, the Perugia is where they have the chocolate festivals every single year. And there was the cho famous chocolate maker, and he was making chocolates, and his daughter grew up learning the chocolates too. So she was working in the shop, and we'll just call him Romeo. Romeo come in the shop, and when he's to buy chocolates, but when he saw beautiful, we'll say Rosalia, Rosalia, he just fell completely in love with her, and he becomes so nervous. And she was just overtaken by him too. She just thought they were, he was just gorgeous. So they were both extremely shy. So what they did is this young girl, they, uh, in the chocolates, they made, she, I've already eaten them all, but inside <laughs> the chocolates, she, they, it was either he or she, whichever one worked there, but they put a love note inside the chocolate. Oh. So when they come to pick them up and open it up, it had the beautiful love note. So that's how they connected and... Are you hearing this, guys, out there? Yes. I'll take a box of those. So okay. that's how they got connected. So now, if you go to Perugia, or, you know, they're all over the world now, and the bocce, bocce means kiss. Oh, yes. bocce. Bocce, bocce. I love it. And uh, so. just just so you know also that she is also, look at this coffee. I'm down oh. to just to just one cup a day. Is this Kathy's coffee mug or what? <laughs> My gosh, I don't know where you got that. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, but dear Santa, I want it all. Oh, well, we've got yeah, it all you here. Get, you can get this oh, yeah. Here. I'm going to go back and just show you again the dining room table. It's just... It's magnificent. And I mean, the chair backs, the way they're carved, everything in here is just beautiful. And she decorated it for all the seasons. And you should see her beautiful coffee table book I am decorating. It's pretty incredible. This is a new piece. I know this because I saw you bringing it home. Yes, I got several of these in the store at Decorate Ornate. And I'm obsessed with candy trees. And there's one that I'm wanting very badly right now. It's. Uh, it's called Sweet Savannah, and I talked to the owner of the company, and he said, Stephanie, I'm sorry, we signed a contract with Neiman Marcus exclusively, and, uh, um, oh, uh, Berdolph Goodman, which they own uh, Neiman's also, and I said, you've got to let me have one, I want one, decorate, or Nate needs to sell these, anyway, here's mine on the turntable. It is beautiful. Just beautiful. And look at look at this buffet here going into her living room area. It's just gorgeous. This is the little guy that come out of Greece, the little, uh, the Greek guy. Everybody thinks he's Italiano, but he's Greek. And do you notice the airplane? Yes. We will be flying off hopefully soon. Yay. Our... Believe, everybody, believe. Yes, yes. In May, right? Uh, hopefully, probably June. June. Probably more like June. And look at the look at the frame Santa. Is this not adorable? Yeah, we have more of these that decorate ornate. They're gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. But look here, you guys. We're now going into, it's kind of a double living room area, but the flowers, the ceilings, the all the beautiful antiquities that you've picked up from all your travels. These are from Sicily. When you get into Sicily, you, these are the only place in the world is Caltagirone, Sicily, and that's where they make the Moorish heads. Wow, and, um, it's beautiful. When you're in the other parts of um, Italy, you see the beautiful ceramica that's all hand-painted by the artisans, and they're on their balconies with the flowers. But when you get to Sicily, you see the beautiful Moorish heads with oh. the flowers on the balconies, and that's because the Moorish occupied and reigned the king and queens, and they dress so regally with all their beautiful satins and... Stuff. But look at the little gingerbread houses is all lit up and 
the cupcake bakery. Here we've got more mirrors. I'm I'm we're get I'm getting Alan in the picture. He doesn't uh, realize it. You're in the mirror, Alan. Go ahead. This is the tea card. It's all handmade in Sorrento, Italy. Sorrento, Italy is the only place in the world where they still hand cut, hand carve uh, the tea cup, the tea carts, and all the inlay wood, and they cut the really thin layer of wood and inlay oh, it on top. Isn't this so gorgeous? It's, a, it's, a, it's beautiful. And I know you have one of these down in the store, too, because I've my yeah. daughter goes, Mom, look at that. I go, I don't think so, hon. Yeah, <laughs> look at this cake. Oh, my goodness. All these desserts and beautiful things. If I look back into the kitchen, you can just see how fabulous her house is and everything. So. And this I found in uh, Sicily many, many years ago. It's beautiful. And it's all... Um, Camel bone. Camel bone. Wow. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. This so, is uh, another tapestry up there from Venezia that's handwoven. This is the, and there are two living rooms in the living room, two seating mm -hmm. areas. So it's a perfect home for entertaining. And uh, the Pulp Queens have had a Christmas party here. It was pretty fabulous. I know Beth Snyder Honia was here with us. Hi, Beth. And you know exactly what this house is like, but isn't it gorgeous? This is a water fountain here, Kathy. Oh! Water fountain. And, oh, my um, gosh. with water fountains and bronze. Uh, and look at all the candies that she's got. I go, you know, now that I'm diabetic, I just, this is, <laughs> it's so beautiful. But, um, you know, it's for looking only. But look at, and then we're looking into your formal dining room, which is every inch of this house is completely covered with all your treasures and your beautiful white leather couches and black leather couches and these are all from the different parts the rosaries are from different mm -hmm. parts of italy and beautiful italy. the madonna and child beautiful and then this is alan's room this is alan. this is alan her husband's room you His guys tv room can you imagine having this as a TV room? Dallas Cowboys, are we watching it now? Oh my goodness, look at this. That's uh, all handmade with Swarovski's in Venezia, Italy. It's and beautiful. then underneath it is a bill <laughs> from Kathy Bell Murphy. <laughs> I'm all over this house, this is crazy. this is an actual um, art piece that Kathy took coming down from the Mamma Mia Chapel in Greece, looking down at the beautiful turquoise swirl water. Oh my gosh, this is, the, and look at all the little, you know, and then uh, uh, Alan is in taxidermy, so we've got a, a little bit, the big screen TV in Alan's room, but look at these, these wonderful p puppets. Oh my gosh, they're incredible. Those are all handmade from uh, Sicily. They're fabulous. They're quite fabulous. And here's another one of the reliquaries. reliquaries. But even the carved chairs, everything is just so beautifully and meticulously done. And the tapestries, it's gorgeous. Here's another beautiful light piece. And look at the beautiful paintings. I got that in Greece, of course. That yeah, it looks very familiar to some yeah. of the places that we got to go. But you have two of these on each side of these couch, leather couches. Yeah, the Moorish. And, and here's this, another bronze. This is in honor of Alan that I shipped <laughs> back because it has the big fish. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. And it's a water fountain. Oh, my goodness. So he was, um, when I said, I've got you something, he said, I can only imagine. So I then, can only imagine. <laughs> Beautiful. And all these flowers. They're just, it's just gorgeous. Yes, I took this uh, from the steps of the Mamma Mia Church looking down at the water, and it it was just glorious. Everything about the, the Greece trip was. This is Marana mm -hmm. uh, from the Marana. Uh, island when we go to Marana Island we take a private boat we take the Americans and then this Isn't that is you gorgeous mouth blown glass and this is the Moorish and uh, this was a find from Parma Italy and it Beautiful. takes about four men strained to pick it up it's solid Carrara marble it with looks... another bonded marble on top of it wow and, it's a, it's and tell place. me about these plates ah these are from France these are um, serves. 
Oh my gosh. That is one place I want to go to the factory. I've, I did a paper on it in college. So this is the real thing. And that is an art that is just incredible. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is in life from Sorrento. Yes. I remember I got a couple little pieces of this when I was there. And I guess one of my favorites is, uh, the black and moors, they're antiques that I got. Oh, the, don't. The, oh, I'm afraid for you to take it out. Look at these. And this is hand blown. Hand blown antique. Wow. And see how regal their shoes are. Oh, the, absolutely. The you know, men were the first ones to wear high heels. Yeah. yeah I, that, that. I learned that in doing one of my papers, too. Of course, this was during that time period when everybody was, the men were wearing such flouncy shirts and high heels and... Um, this. Oh, that's is, gorgeous. This is a uh, mother of pearl from the Mediterranean in Italy, but guess what this is? Oh. It's a little purse. Oh, oh my so goodness. Okay, is it stuck? Alan, can you open this for us? Here you go. It's got a open tough... It. Can you open that? <laughs> <laughs> I like we, to open it. But look at all the things. And She's got these, more of those dishes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look this, at these. This is how they make cameos. They take the shells from the Mediterranean, they clamp them down, and they hand carve them, and then they carve them on out and take them to the jeweler and make necklaces and earrings. But those are the... Are these the tools that they use? Some of the tools? or this is just an antique hammer that i found oh my goodness look from, at that from italy and that looks like a nutcracker it is i got that in arezzo italy oh my goodness those are but beautiful. these are all all of them have different ones. oh my goodness look at all of these they're all cameos carved into the shells that they find there they're beautiful and the light shines through them too yeah this is how you know if you have a real cameo as you take it like this, and you hold, turn it around and hold it up to the light. And can you see the light coming through it? Mm hmm mm hmm I can. See, because the shell is layered. Oh, my so goodness. So that's when they carve into the different layers. And look at all this. Look at this table and another one of the bronzes. Alan, you've got quite a room. This is, this is <laughs> Alan's purse. This is Alan's purse. I love it, that's Alan. I, I can't wait to see you carry that out. That's... <laughs> That's fa that, fabulous. That is, um, oh, it's beautiful. Mmm. Look, here's some more of the this beautiful. This is an antique, an old, old, old. It's over 100 years old Marinette from oh, Sicily. Oh, I love it. And this chair. It's absolutely.